A Tapestry of Time, unveiling Alor Setar's historical heart. Alor Setar, it's a city that whispers stories of sultans and spice trades. I can almost smell the incense and hear the call to prayer. This is the heart of Kedar, a state steeped in history. You can feel it in the weathered stones of ancient buildings. You can see it in the vibrant markets. This is a place where time seems to move a little slower. Kedar's roots run deep, entwined with the ancient kingdoms of the Malay Peninsula. Alor Setar, its capital, stands as a testament to this rich past. The city is a captivating blend of old and new. It's a place where ancient traditions meet modern life. There's a certain charm here that's hard to resist. Alor Setar's historical significance is evident in its architecture, its cuisine, and the warmth of its people. This is a city that welcomes you with open arms. It invites you to explore its hidden alleyways. It beckons you to discover its secrets. Come wander with me and we'll uncover the treasures of this often overlooked corner of Malaysia. The Grand Zahir Mosque, a symphony in green and gold. The Zahir Mosque is a sight to behold. It dominates the Alor Setar skyline. Its black domes and emerald green minarets pierce the sky. This isn't just a place of worship, it's a masterpiece of Islamic architecture. The details are exquisite. Built in 1912, the mosque is a testament to Kedar's royal heritage. Its design is inspired by the mosques of Medina. The intricate carvings and calligraphy are breathtaking. You can feel the devotion in every brick and tile. The air hums with a quiet energy. Step inside and you'll be enveloped by a sense of peace. The cool marble floors offer respite from the tropical heat. Sunlight streams through stained glass windows, painting the prayer hall in a kaleidoscope of colors. This is a place for reflection and contemplation. Ascending Alor Setar Tower, panoramic views and urban tales. Alor Setar Tower is a modern marvel. It soars above the city like a futuristic beacon. From its observation deck, you can see the entire sprawl of Alor Setar. The view is breathtaking. You can see the meandering Kedar River. You can spot the lush green paddy fields that surround the city. This 165.5 meter tall structure is a symbol of Alor Setar's progress. It's a testament to the city's aspirations, but it's also a great place to get your bearings. You can orient yourself, then you can plan your urban exploration. As you gaze out at the cityscape, imagine the stories these streets could tell. Alor Setar has witnessed the rise and fall of empires. It's been a crossroads of cultures for centuries. The tower stands as a silent observer, witnessing the city's evolution. Balai Nobat, echoes of royal grandeur. Balai Nobat, the royal hall of music, is a glimpse into Kedar's royal past. This ornate wooden structure once housed the state's traditional orchestra. Imagine the sounds of gongs and drums echoing through the air. It must have been something special. The building itself is a work of art. It's crafted from the finest timber and adorned with intricate carvings. It's a reminder of a time when Kedar was a powerful sultanate. The sultanate played a major role in regional trade. Today, Balai Nobat stands as a museum. It houses a collection of royal regalia and musical instruments. It's a fascinating glimpse into a bygone era. You can almost hear the whispers of the past as you wander through its halls. Section 5. Paddy Fields and Plates Alor Setar's Agricultural Bounty Kedah is known as the Rice Bowl of Malaysia for a reason. The state is carpeted in emerald green paddy fields. They stretch as far as the eye can see. These fields are the lifeblood of the region. They provide sustenance and livelihood for generations. To truly understand Kedah's agricultural heritage, visit the Paddy Museum. It's a unique institution that celebrates the art and science of rice cultivation. You'll learn about the different stages of rice production. You'll gain a newfound appreciation for the hard work that goes into every grain. And of course, no trip to Kedah is complete without savoring the local cuisine. Rice is a staple here and it finds its way into countless dishes. From nasi lemak, the fragrant national dish, to local delicacies like laksa keda, be prepared for a culinary adventure. Section 6. Pikan Rabu a sensory symphony of local life. Pekan Rabu, the Wednesday market, is a feast for the senses. It's a riot of colors, sounds, and smells. This is where locals come to shop, to socialize, and to soak up the vibrant atmosphere. Get ready to haggle. 
The market sprawls across several blocks. You'll find everything from fresh produce and seafood to clothing, textiles, and handicrafts. This is the real deal. It's a chance to experience the authentic rhythms of local life. As you navigate the labyrinthine aisles, be sure to sample some of the local delicacies. Try the freshly squeezed fruit juices. Indulge in a plate of nasi karabu, a colorful rice dish with a medley of flavors. Pekan rabu is a sensory overload in the best possible way. Section 7. A taste of Kedar culinary delights await. Kedar's cuisine is a melting pot of Malay, Chinese, and Indian influences. It's a testament to the state's diverse heritage. The result is a symphony of flavors that will tantalize your taste buds. Get ready for an adventure. Start your culinary journey with a bowl of laksa kedar. This spicy and sour fish noodle soup is a local favorite. It's a burst of flavor in every spoonful. Don't miss out on nasi kandar, a dish of steamed rice served with a variety of curries and side dishes. For something sweet, try ice kakang, a colorful shaved ice dessert topped with sweet beans, corn, and syrup. And of course, no meal in Kedar is complete without a cup of Tay Tarik, the local pulled tea. It's the perfect way to wash down all the delicious food. Section 8. Beyond the city walls, natural escapes in Kedar. While Alor Sitar has plenty to offer, no trip to Kedar is complete without venturing beyond the city limits. The state is blessed with stunning natural beauty, from limestone caves and waterfalls to pristine beaches and islands. Rent a car or hire a driver and head north to the coastal town of Kuala Kedar. Take a boat trip to Pula Payar Marine Park, a haven for snorkeling and diving. The turquoise waters are teeming with marine life. It's an underwater paradise. If you prefer to stay on land, head south to the Belum Temengor Forest Complex. It's one of the oldest rainforests in the world. You can go trekking through the jungle, spot wildlife, or simply relax by a waterfall. Section 9. Gunung Keriang Myths, Legends, and Limestone Caves Gunung Keriang, a limestone hill that dominates the landscape just north of Alor Setar, is shrouded in myths and legends. Locals believe that the hill is home to mystical creatures and spirits. It's a place of mystery and intrigue. Explore the network of caves that honeycomb the hill. Some of these caves are said to have been used as hideouts by pirates and revolutionaries in centuries past. Today, they offer a glimpse into the region's history and folklore. For the adventurous, there are opportunities for rock climbing and spelunking. But even if you prefer to stay grounded, a visit to Gunung Keriang is a must. The views from the summit are simply breathtaking. Section 10. Tamanjubli Emmas, a tranquil oasis in the city's heart. Escape the hustle and bustle of the city at Tamanjubli Emmas, a sprawling park located in the heart of Alor Setar. This tranquil oasis offers a welcome respite from the tropical heat. It's a great place to relax and recharge. Take a stroll along the winding pathways. Admire the colorful flower gardens. Rent a paddle boat and glide across the serene lake. The park is also home to a playground, making it a great destination for families with children. Tam and Jubilee Emmas is a popular spot for locals to gather for picnics, exercise, and simply enjoy the outdoors. It's a reminder that even in the midst of a bustling city, pockets of peace and tranquility can still be found. Section 11. Planning your Alor Setar adventure tips and tricks. Getting to Alor Setar is easy. You can fly directly into the Sultan Abdul Halim Airport, which is well connected to major cities in Malaysia. Alternatively, you can take a bus or train from Kuala Lumpur. It's a scenic journey. Once you're in Alor Setar, getting around is a breeze. Taxis and ride-hailing services are readily available. But for a more authentic experience, hop on a trishaw. It's a fun and affordable way to explore the city. When it comes to accommodation, Alor Setar offers a range of options to suit every budget. From budget-friendly guest houses to luxurious hotels, you'll find a place to rest your head. The best time to visit Alor Setar is during the dry season, which runs from November to April. Alor Sitar is a city that often gets overlooked, but that's a mistake. This hidden gem in northern Malaysia has something to offer every traveler. So come discover its historical landmarks, savor its culinary delights, and immerse yourself in its vibrant culture. You won't be disappointed. 